Hey guys, what's up? So I'm not wearing any makeup because I'm currently doing some spring cleaning and decorating around my house and it's the weekend, I'm, all, I'm off, so um, that's usually when I get all my stuff done. Instead of going out, I like stay home and clean my house. So um, I did talk to you guys on Facebook about this channel, um, about what I should do with it, and I know that I was going to try to do like a singing channel, but I cannot do that because they're constantly getting flagged. Um, I tried to post a singing video on my makeup channel and, um, and on this current channel, but they both got flagged because their music is copyrighted. Even though it's like karaoke and I've purchased the track, um, we can't do it. So I'd rather just keep this channel running legit rather than always getting in trouble and just trying to post something to get past the copyright because um, it's not going to happen. <laughs> As we all know, YouTube's been cracking down on a lot of different things, but um, with that being said, I went to you guys on my Facebook account and you guys had agreed and all kind of really liked that I had brought up doing like wife style videos, kind of, um, that kind of sounds cute, wife style videos, um, because you know, a lot of us that are young and we're married, we're all still trying to find ways to kind of make things easier, to make things look cute, to find cheaper alternatives for things. So I thought that this channel would be a really fun place to kind of share that. And I know one of my biggest passions is beauty. And then my other passion is also being a wife and also decorating and household things. And I really like to watch videos like that as well. So with that being said, this is going to be a kind of a decorative video for you guys. I'm going to share what I did today and I hope you guys like it. Okay, so I wanted to share a space with you guys in my house. Um, it's my staircase, and I've really found ways to utilize and decorate this area because a lot of people really let their staircase and hallways just go unused. And this area in specific that you guys are looking at is blank. Normally, this is my cat's area, but I am going to redo that. I'm going to get them a cat tree, so that way it won't be down in my living room. Um, a cat tree is a place where the cats can lay. It's those ones with the little scratch posts and things like that. And so I'm going to kind of make this the kitty corner for them. Um, they currently do have a bed and I have like a rocking chair that I had when I was three years old there but right now I was just cleaning so it's empty so I kind of wanted to give you guys an idea of what this is going to look like so the cat tree will go here and then I'll have all their bowls and things down here so that way like I said my guests if they're over downstairs they won't see any of my um, pet things so that'll be really nice and then they'll also have a little cozy corner for themselves so if you go around you can see that I have a hallway and this is what I currently did in the past few days my husband and I, we both like vintage stuff, but we also both like really modern items. So I kind of decided to, um, sorry, it's a little bit echoey because of this empty area. I kind of decided to go ahead and come to a compromise with both of our styles because we kind of want our living room to be more modern. We've been married for four years, so we're barely getting our decorative stuff up the way we want it and I decided to take all the vintage stuff to the staircase um, there's another area down there which I will show you on another video um, and just kind of decorate this area with all my vintage stuff and all of our families like heirlooms and things like that and this way also if we do have parties this stuff won't get touched or broken or ruined since it's upstairs so um, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what I did I made just a little cozy corner here I purchased a bench. This one is from Target and this was $60. You have to assemble this. Sorry, I'm in the restroom. You have to assemble it, which does take a little bit of time, but that's all right. Um, I will tell you this cushion isn't very like soft or anything, but that's, a, that's okay. Um, the two blue pillows back there I had for our bedroom because we were going to have a blue bedroom, but we are deciding to change our color palette to black, white, um, gray, and like a metallic silver. So um, I just went ahead and put those here because I thought it just looked really nice nice. Underneath I put a red throw blanket and then some little odds and ends that I just had like that little piggy bank over there I've had since I was five. That was a little jewelry box that somebody gave me. Um, I have like a little candle. Let's see. Hopefully we could see under here. Um, it's a little bit dark. And then there's some little lovebirds that my dad gave to my mom a long time ago. So those are some really old items, but I still want them out. I don't want them to be just put away. Now this pillow in the center is a pillow that I actually made for my dad when I was in the fourth grade. And um, my neighbor helped me make it, my godmother, and we sewed it, so I thought that it was really nice to have it displayed up here because I actually picked this pattern out from all her scraps, and on the other side, you could see it says, Happy Father's Day, I love you, and then it says, from Haley, 1994, so I thought that was really nice to kind of keep here. 
So um, that's how I have that set up. And I thought that this was really convenient because like I said, if we do have parties, people can go ahead and come up here and sit and make a phone call if they need to make a phone call in private rather than go into the bedrooms, um, you know, where we may have personal items. So I really liked that. And then um, let's see, this lamp in the corner, I decided to add to make it a little bit more cozy. Um, we do have a light bulb up here in the hallway, but uh, I like to turn it off and look. It kind of gives it a little more of a cozy feel, but I do have it on for the sake of the video. So I really like that. This lamp was $8 at Target. It's just a black lamp. It's very tall. It's a floor lamp, and um, it's just got like a white shade. So um, just very affordable, very cheap. I really liked that a lot. And then today I got this rug, which you can see is still kind of creased because it's so brand new. Come on, camera, focus. And um, I got this at Ross for $8.99. So this is actually, as you can see, our carpet, <laughs> the color of our carpet is not very nice. It's uh, kind of groovy looking. Green isn't our color, but I mean, we rent this townhouse so um, this rug was $8.99 it was actually a kitchen rug but I went ahead and just put it in this spot just to make it kind of look a little more cozy and pull it all together so I really like the way it looks so right above the bench we have a little picture wall that I've created and all of these frames are actually from the dollar store so they're all different kinds of frames as you can see I really love this one right here and they're all from the Dollar Tree um, I just decided to get some vintage looking frames because I do have all of these are postcards that my mother gave me that were actually I think think my great grandmothers and they're all postmarked from 1902 or 1901 to like 1920 so they are authentic postcards and this one right here is actually a Pons ad that she had so I thought that was really cute but they're all very intricate postcards and you know I just I thought this was so unique so I just decided to frame them I do have a lot more but um, I just framed the most unique looking ones and I thought that these frames some of these frames actually look a little more expensive than they are. I mean, they're all a dollar, so um, I really, really like this area a lot. Then we have this area on the wall. I got this shelf. This is from Target. It was about $14.99. Um, those shelves you can actually get on sale if you look in your Sunday ads sometimes they have them for like $11 things like that but I liked the way this looked because it wasn't so perfect it's got like the bigger spaces and on the top um, I got that globe with a clock at a store called Tuesday morning and then I have my little Febreze air freshener, freshener. Um, if you guys haven't tried those they really do make the hallway smell really good because it really sucks in this area I don't have any outlets um, as you can see I have my lamp plugged into a room so if not I would have a Scentsy warmer or something up there but I don't have any outlets. This doll right here was actually my mother's doll. Um, she said a lady from church bought it for her when she was 11 years old. And this is a Bradley doll, so she's a collector and she's also called a boudoir doll, so if you guys want to research that, you can. And um, that was the gift from my mother. It's just a little porcelain purse. Then I have a vintage um, snakeskin bag. That's also another piggy bank that I had when I was like five to six years old and then just some other little knickknacks that I've had since I was younger so that I didn't want to throw out. Then I decided to put this picture here, which I wasn't so sure about, but I really think it gives it more of a cozy feel. Um, sorry about the mess over here. I just piled some of the stuff from the hallway like on the floor. Um, so this picture right here is actually a Norman Rockwell picture um, that my mom had forever in our house so I just hung it right here. I really like the way it looks because it's the two older people on the um, rocking chairs next to the fireplace and I just think it looks really cozy. So that's all I did. I really just took a lot of, of things that my mother has given me and found a place to display them and it really makes a nice cozy sitting area for anybody that just kind of wants to come upstairs, relax, maybe get away from the hustle and bustle of a get together or that needs to make it private phone call so um, it also makes it look very spacious and not so boring so if you guys are looking for some place to put your things that you've had since you were younger or you just kind of want to utilize some space um, definitely look in the corners of your house because those places are mostly overlooked another idea that I really wanted to do but that was too expensive for me at this time was to get a corner chair for right here I was gonna put a corner chair and a throw over it but I kind of like the way that this turned out better but you can look for corner chairs they do have them online they sell them at Pier 1 um, but they are a little more pricey than just the $60 bench so um, yeah so basically I used everything that I had in the house or um, got really cheap items and put it together to make a really nice cozy corner and I hope Hope this helps you guys out whenever I get some more decorating I will definitely share it with you guys and let you guys in on what I'm up to I love you guys so much bye